Hey guys, in this video today, we're going to be doing some DIY gel press on nails. So as you can see, I have everything that I need to get started, some alcohol, some cotton swabs, my gel nails, fingernail clippers, cuticle pusher, and a nail buffer. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I am squirting some alcohol all over my fingers and just making sure that I get my fingernails nice and clean. Uh, making sure that there's no oil on my fingernails before I get started. I want to make sure that surface is really clean. And what I'm doing is taking my actual um, eyelash thingy here, and it has a cuticle pusher there. And what I'm doing is pushing my cuticles back and just getting them prepared uh, for the nails. So this came handy dandy for me. I could not find my actual cuticle pusher So sometimes you have to improvise and this worked perfectly So what I have right here is my little nail filing tool. I found this really cheap I'm not sure where I found it at but it comes in handy and I'm just roughing up the surface of my nails I'm not doing my nails any harm just roughing up the surface a little bit getting it prepared for the glue um, looking at other uh, tutorials I found that a lot of people do this method right here and they say when doing this roughing up the surface it helps it last a bit longer so um, in the kit you do get a fingernail file buffer for that so I found it a little bit quicker to use this tool right here but feel free to use a file so what I'm doing, I found these nails at Sally's and I'm going ahead and taking them out of the box. And as you can see, it has a little file buffer, your glue, and it has about 30 nails in there, a huge variety. So what you're going to do is go in, separate the nails, and you're going to size them down to each finger. So this can take a little time. You want to match them up to your fingers and split them up on each side so that you can get you know them ready to go so you can see I have them ready to go up there at the top so what I'm doing I just want to make sure that these things stick so I'm actually taking the glue and putting them all over my finger and I actually take that fingernail and I kind of push it right underneath the cuticle and I'm sorry if I'm out of frame a little bit and I hold down that nail for about 10 seconds I do count to 10 and this just helps it stick. It does not move. Um, I didn't want to want. I did not want the nail to slide off. So that's why I held it down for 10 seconds. You may be able to hold it a little bit less, but I do recommend holding it down for at least 10 seconds. Now, what you guys did not see is me clip my fingernails. So you can see my nails are a bit low. I did go ahead and clip my nails down. So I do recommend that you do clip your nails down as low as you can before starting this method it just makes uh it look a lot neater um underneath the press on nails and i do apologize for the lighting here um so yeah you just go ahead and repeat this on both hands this is so simple guys and this glue is so good that comes with this kit i was a little concerned i did ask the lady at sally's about this kit and she assured me that she does get like two weeks out of this glue so i was going to trust her on this and um yeah i filmed this video over a week ago and guys i still have these nails on and it's been a week none they have not popped off my fingernails if you guys want to see me do a follow-up video leave me a comment below i'll be more than happy to do that um, but yeah, this is so easy. Just go ahead and push those nails down under that cuticle a little bit. Hold them down. Repeat the method on all your fingers. This saves so much money uh, with us going through this pandemic. You know, it's recommended that we stay home, guys, you know, and, um, you know, we, we should be doing this stuff ourselves right now. So I don't have any cuticle oil. So what I did was improvise. I went in my kitchen, got me some extra virgin olive oil, and I took it and put it on one of my cotton swabs. And what you see is me putting cotton, um, olive oil all over my fingertips. So once I get that on my cuticles real good, then I just take it and massage 
the oil all over my cuticles with my fingers and just give it a really good massage all over anything that I have left over I go ahead and rub it over my hands um, my hands could use some lotion right now and a good sugar scrub right now don't mind my hands but yeah olive oil works just fine if you don't have um, cuticle oil you know coconut oil any type of oil works just fine so yeah this is it the final product I love how it turned out guys this was so simple it only took me like 20 minutes to do this or less um, leave me a comment below let me know what you think if you've tried this method and I'm so happy with it um, and yeah this is it love it so thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in another video bye